This video is sponsored by AppMaker. AppMaker is a WordPress plugin that converts WooCommerce websites to mobile apps. The mobile app builder helps you create native Android and iOS applications. Get 30% off by being first 200 sign up. Get the link in the description. Hey everyone, welcome back to another video of Educate WordPress. On this channel, we talk everything about WordPress. And today, we're going to see how we can add an overlapping section effect using Elementor Pro. Let's get started. Now, what is the logic behind overlapping section? First, we're going to add sticky to each section so that it sticks to the top and then we're going to add Z index so that each section, each upcoming section can, can be stacked on top of each other, making an overlapping effect. So let's use an Elementor template to showcase this effect. Choose a template. You can use it on your website as well. Let's click on insert. So this is our template. Let's change the style. So this is our template. Let's open the navigator. First of all, what we're going to do to each section is enable the full width section. Then go to advanced and add a Z index of 0 to 2 or any number. The basic idea is if this is 2, this should be greater and this should be even greater. So consecutive sections have to be have have to have a greater Z index for them to stack on top of each other. And let's change the motion effects and turn the sticky to top. Let's do the same to the next section, full width section, change the Z index to anything greater than 2, change the sticky to top and let's add a background so that the content doesn't get mixed up. Let's head over to the next section, change it to full width section, change the Z index to 6 which is more than 2 and 4, change the motion effects to sticky to top and let's change the background color. And add some padding to it. Let's head over to the next section. Change the Z index to 8. Turn the effect to sticky to top. And let's publish and view our changes.
So as you can see, this is our overlapping effect. You can use a design that would suit this effect. Another thing we can do is add sticky functionality to our header. I'm using the header from the theme. So I'll have to go to customize. I'm using the Bloxy theme. I've already reviewed this theme. So, so if you want to check the review, just head over to our channel and you will find the video. For now, let's go to header in the customize. Go to headers tab, global header. And here you will see the sticky functionality. You can choose which section gets the sticky functionality. But since we only have a main row, we will choose this one and change the effect to slide down. Let's click on publish. Close the customize tab. So as you can see, a header is sticking. Now that's it for this video. Thank you for watching. Like if you find this video useful and subscribe. Thank you.